Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we're on December 11th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun for the past 48 hours. Still seeing some strong C-class solar flares, as well notable plasma filaments. Look at the last 48 hours incoming. We do have a sunspot region active. More southern coming in right now and as well, coronal hole region that is developing. Look at the last 48 hours outgoing. There's a sunspot region that produced multiple C-class solar flares today. Big plasma filament taking off from the southern hemisphere. Multi-spectrum here showing the last 48 hours of events, pointing them out. And as well, showing the coronal holes. Cooled regions on the sun when they are earth-facing. They do eventually increase our solar winds. 171 angstroms here. Some amazing images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed here with daily events worldwide. Thank you all for watching and welcome all the new followers. Got about 100 or 200 new followers overnight. Thank you for subscribing. Don't forget to smack that like button and welcome to the family. Having a look at six sunspot regions, one of them turning away. Quick look at these sunspot regions in action. That northern region, sunspot region, is intense. Space weather conditions currently, we are under R1. Minor radio blackout impacts expected. Low frequency navigation signals degraded for brief intervals. Solar winds are coming in at 315 kilometers per second. Having a look here at the Space Weather Prediction Center, no major solar flares or CMEs have been thwarted our way. Look here at the ISPA space prediction spiral as well. Not much to report. We are going through minor geomagnetic instability right now and as well being affected by Earth-facing C-class solar flares. Have a look at Lasco 2. As we will notice in the bottom frame there, watch for a sun diving comet to come into view. Heading towards the sun. Don't quite see the impact just yet or it going around. Just getting very near to the sun. And that was after a very large CME taking off from the northern region of our sun. Another closer look here at that sun diving comet as it comes into view. We've seen some strange stuff in our satellites looking at the sun recently. Heading through a large debris field, I think. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours. Starting out in the Tonga region. 6.1, the largest the past 24 hours, 238 kilometer depth, Tonga region, not affecting land that was in the water. Fiji region as well, 561 kilometer depth, so they experienced the largest and deepest past 24 hours. Pagan region through the Northern Marianas Trench, 5.7, and activity still continues through the Philippines. Notable earthquake here, Sinjinjung, Indonesia, 5.0, and that's right by Merapi Volcano. Still seeing them. Eruption activity through there. Alaska, seeing increased seismicity today. 4.3 and a 4.4. Nicole Sky, Alaska. Quieted down here through Hawaii. Comes in waves there, pretty much the seismicity. Across the United States, East Quincy, California, reporting a 3.4 magnitude. And as well, notable earthquakes continuing through Mentone, Texas, and into White City, New Mexico. Guide Rock, Nebraska, reporting the 4.2 earthquake yesterday. And as well, South Dakota, Wakanda, South Dakota, reporting a 3.0 magnitude. About seven earthquakes since yesterday at the Rec James Ridge, 10 kilometer depth. I'd have to agree with my friend Mark that there's a lot of energy transfer going on across the North American plate, quieting down through the Caribbean. 
Notable earthquake here, South American Plate, 5.5. San Antonio de Cobros, that's a pretty sizable magnitude earthquake for the region. 194 kilometer depth. Normally you see deep earthquakes there, not really the large magnitude. Also a 5.7 here, reported Scotia C. Across the African Plate, up into Eurasia. Not much to report. It's actually very quiet on the other side of the planet. Some quick plows here at the last seven days for shakers around the world. And unfortunately, it's not including the extra 130 earthquakes that occurred in the Philippines. There's just not enough data, I guess, to put all these earthquakes in. Notable activity there, Yemen. The Sea of Aden, notable activity there, Wreck Janes, south of Iceland, Mid-Atlantic Ridge, seeing a lot of activity recently. Heads up, stay safe, stay aware and prepared. That's what this channel is all about. Hope you enjoy the information shared here. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery and as well, Pointing out the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. Got Santa Maria in Guatemala. As well, Fuego in Guatemala. A lot of flood alerts across Africa. Inundating this list of hazards. 194 active hazards right now. Trying to find these volcanoes. Here we go. Krakatoa, Indonesia. 16 hours ago, waking up. Sabancaya in Peru. Abinas in Peru, awakening 16 hours ago. Semeru, Indonesia. Reventador in Ecuador. Aoba, Vanuatu, awakening 18 hours ago. Dakono in Indonesia. And as well, Nevadas de Ruiz, Colombia. Luatolo, Indonesia. Ibu in Indonesia. Sangay in Ecuador. That's quite a few volcanoes getting updated today. Looking at satellite imagery, long line of moisture stretching straight across the east coast of North America as long as the coast is. It's like 3,500, 4,000 miles long extreme weather throughout the region as well notable low pressure system over northern South America. Looking over the West Pacific, Southeast Asia, we do have Cyclone Jasper who is still alive, category one as it has been smashed pretty much by that high pressure ridge south of it, overlooking Africa and Europe, Ireland and the United Kingdom. You've got two low pressure systems you've been dealing with for the last couple of days. You've got the last one will be sweeping across tonight. Having a look at SO2 models here, showing our sulfur dioxide content in the air, notable SO2 coming out of eastern parts of Alaska and as well notable through Central America. And as well Kamchatka, eastern Russia. Big plume there over Sumatra. And that is from the Merapi volcano eruptions that we've seen this past week. Overlooking Africa, Europe. Lots of SO2 over Africa right now. Coming out of near Miragira and Nirigongo. Now let's get to weather here. Starting out in Europe. High pressure ridge east of you sending cold air. Low pressure systems moving in from the north. And as well another one here moving through the mid-Atlantic. Notable low pressure system north of Madagascar. We're going to have to watch the forecast for that one. Could be a cyclone in the long range. High pressure ridge building in for most of North Africa and Europe in the long range. Overlooking North America, you've got that big system here on the East Coast. And as well, Alberta Clipper. Sweeping through Quebec, so lots of snow through northern Ontario and Quebec, but warm south 
of the border and as well through parts of eastern Canada. It's not really going to get cold until about the 18th or 19th, right after this last big system forms in the Gulf. And this will be affecting most of Florida and then all up the eastern seaboard. We're going to have to keep an eye on this, on the new forecast models throughout the week here. Interesting system and a lot of moisture. Parts of the Atlantic provinces just from this last system, that huge atmospheric river, they received 50 millimeters of rain in a very short amount of time. Overlooking the Pacific, multiple systems heading towards Alaska. High pressure ridge building over north of Hawaii. Then a big low pressure system building in the long range. It's going to finally bring some moisture to parts of northern California and Washington. Cyclone Jasper continues to rake across the northern parts of Australia. And as well, New Zealand, seeing some moisture coming from a low south of you. And then Australia ushers in yet another low in the long range forecast. Multiple systems raking across Australia the next week or so. So heads up, very warm continent and these systems are, ro are roaring up. Now let's have a look at our upper level winds. Good way to see our polar vortex. And man, it is powerful right now. And a little oddly shaped, thanks to El Nino. Strong winds over Europe. Big high pressure ridge will be building in the long range. But most of those systems are hanging out right over top. Quick glance, Northern Hemisphere versus Southern. Much love, everybody, and I hope you enjoy the information shared here with Daily Events Worldwide. If you do, please don't forget to smack that like button, comment, share with a friend. Good night, everyone. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.